Hey everyone, my name is Alex Ramsby. I'm an MSP consultant here at Proval Tech. Today I wanted to go over reviewing, updating, or creating like custom virus definitions inside of Automate. As I know, some of these newer AVs may not put out plugins or extensions to really detect the AV solution. And this is a good way or good practice to be able to write your own and kind of go through how the system is set up. Let's get into it. So first you wanna log into Automate. You come under System Configuration Dashboard. You'll come down to Config, Configurations, and then you might have to scroll over to Virus Scan here. These are where your detection, uh, definition locations, versions, uh, if things are detected as infections, things like that, this is where you define all those at. Because I don't have anything extra on my computer here, I figured let's go through Windows 10 and we can kind of break down how to basically build these ourselves in the future. So starting at the top here, you can hit create new or you would hit new, there would be a new button here. But as I selected something, in order to unselect it, you have to just hit clear. And then I can add whatever I want here. For this example, let's just go through the Defender version and we can pull up all of the things that we need to detect here. So give it a name. This is anything you want to call it, does not matter. This is exactly what you want to show up in your computer management tile where it says antivirus and then it has the name. Usually it's stuck on Windows 10 or it has ideally the solution actually installed on the endpoint, keeping in mind that these are kind of set up by ID in the database. So if there's multiple running Windows Defender and something else, it should be picking something else, but there are times you just have to rearrange the actual ID and you just do that via SQL here. We'll save that for a different video there. Um, but in this case, we'll just call it Windows Defender 10. The scanning template, if there was one, basically this is how the antivirus solution would, I should say, uh, security solution, this is how it would scan. This is the process that is running. So if I pull up my processes list, I'm looking for MS, MPE, and G. And that's also, you can find that in the services page of Automate. Hopping down to program location, this is the main one. Nothing else really matters except for AP process and, pro and program location. The rest of this, some of them are required, like date mask might be required. Um, definitely do some testing. But this is the one that will actually show whether it does or does not show up in Automate. And so if we take a look at this, it may look confusing right off the bat here, but this is just a register key location. And the way that it's written is just its own kind of style or XML format, kind of expanded language. But basically we're looking for HKLM, going under software, Microsoft, Windows Defender. This colon indicates a registry key. So after we've hit the last slash, we're looking at an actual key and then what we're looking inside of it. So in this case, if I pull up registry editor here and I come down to HKLM, Software, Microsoft, Windows Defender. I can see install location, which lines up with this particular register key right here. And then if I open that up, basically I'm looking for this full path and then the actual executable here. So this is a variable inside of Automate and it's saying, where is this actually installed? If you were just doing testing, you could put a hard-coded C colon program files. And some, in fact, some of these have that, but ideally you use a percent program files or percent program data, whatever location that is at. And if you have a register key, I definitely recommend using that. It's going to be the most reliable. And then in this case, it's looking for this exact process name. That's if it's installed, if you can find it over there, it has Windows Defender 10. Whether that's true or not, if, it, if it's found, it's detected. Coming down to definition location, same thing. So this whole thing is a variable. If it has a definition file, which Windows Defender does in this case, so all I'm going to do is come to that same place. I see that we are under a signature updates folder and then looking at the signature location. So what I'm going to do is I will expand Windows Defender here, come down to signature updates, and then I'm looking for the signature location.
right here, sorry, and then double clicking on that. And this is a full path and then slash the actual file name. And then if you had a separate solution, so like ESET or Sophos or, you know, whatever you're using, whatever comes out in the future, if it has a slash and then you're actually looking for the file that is the definition database per se. And then the update command, this whole thing gets thrown into a CLI on the back end. So when you run a right click update definitions or an automated thing comes around and it says like update definitions, things like that, this is what's going to run. So in this case, if you were to more or less copy this command and then run this full thing from that location, you would basically be able to update Microsoft Defender or Windows Defender 10 here. But same thing, come to Windows Defender. So we'll go up one file under install location. And then this basically grabs that full path slash and then the executable. And so this whole thing gets tossed into a command and then we're passing it some parameters here, signature update, trace, grouping, grouping 15, and then get files. And that whole thing gets passed behind the scenes through automate. And that's how your automate system can then update Microsoft Defender. If you, especially it does it automatically, but you can hit the update virus definitions and it will update Windows 10. Um, that's how we can identify which OSs we're targeting. So some of these have 32 bit versus 64 versus Mac even. And that's how you can write your own there. The version check and infection check are less used. If they are blank, it doesn't break your system. But if I pull up the documentation here and I will leave a link in the comments as well, or in the description here, what we're looking for is your version check. It's optional. If it's blank, it doesn't really matter. You defined what version it is, or there just isn't a way to detect a version of that AV product. This is for something that has multiple versions or like a, in the name, it's got like a 1.02 and then they come up with an update and then it's got 1.03. This is how you can say version check to make sure that it's on the right version or right build. And then the version mask down here is an actual red X string to detect what version it actually is to compare it to kind of a number. And then same thing with the infection check. Does it actually have a registry path or a place to the um, virus definition, things like that. And then same thing with the match. It's a red regex term or string that detects whether it's true or not. I forgot to include one more thing. These are normally handled by your plugins. So you should not need to make changes to them. If, if there's a solution in the marketplace or an into a third party integration out there, as you import them, they usually have the definitions associated with that. Even if that's the only thing that the import actually does, most of the time that's the case, especially with Sophos specifically, they seem to be changing their name, their processes and everything. If you can get their definitions out there, you should be able to import them and they just kind of show up here. There really isn't a need for you to create them manually, but you can totally do it if you want to. And then one more thing I completely forgot about. Once you get it in here and you hit save and you've got them ready and you want to be able to, to test if it's going to work or not, when you come back into automate here, what you'll need to do is from the computer management section, you don't have to do it from there, but that's just where it's easiest. So if I hop on this dev machine, that antivirus tile isn't going to update unless you wait 24 hours. So to kind of force that to happen, you basically just say um, update config first, and that updates the registry detection strings and all of that on the actual agent. So you do have to do that first and then say resend everything. And so if I scroll to the right here, this is exactly what's detected. This definition date file is how that date or that definition location is detected as well. So you don't need that and it will just tell you what antivirus is here and then it will detect the service running by that AP service, whether it's running or not. But from here, just come down to begin 
come over to commands inventory, update config first, and that will communicate to the agent that, hey, we need to update our agent template. That will update all the register keys associated with that to include your detection strings. Because if you actually open up automate, there is each a registry key entry for all of those definition entries. So you need to update them first. Once that comes back green and it did, it did, sorry. We'll come back into uh, commands inventory and then we'll say resend everything just because I don't know which one exactly this is. And it's just easier if you hit resend everything. That way you know that you're at least getting a full new set of data in case you need to do some further digging, especially if software, services, etc. Once this is done, then once we get all of these are green light, we can keep spamming this refresh button. And then once we make our change, this should be pretty instant. Um, there are times where it's not but in my personal experience, when you do update them and it's not working, you can tell pretty quickly. And if it is working, it will flip as soon as you hit refresh and all of these come back green. Thanks for watching. We post a new video every week to share our knowledge on Automate. To learn more about what we do, please visit ProvalTech.com. There's a link in the video description below.